Now, I keep on stressing, planning ahead. And I will keep on stressing, planning ahead. Um, that is the, the purpose of planning. Plan in advance. Know uh, what you are going to do. Be ready for the unusual situations you are going to face and be ready for it in advance. Do your planning. Uh, you know, you can't plan while the disaster is happening. You gotta just have the thing ready to go. As I said, in terms of, you know, having the procedures ready to go. People can't be expected to, to think, make decisions, you know, so uh, when, when they're under stress. So make sure you remove as much of that stress as possible. Make sure that you uh, reduce the need. You're never going to eliminate it. You know, there are going to be decisions that people are going to have to take in the middle of the disaster because you can never predict everything. But, do your planning, do it thoroughly, make it procedural, uh, make sure that um, you have addressed, you know, whatever you can think of in terms of the, the planning for the disaster, put it into the plan, write it up, document it, know, uh, you know, think in advance, test it out if you possibly can in different ways and we'll talk about that um yeah and and you've got to do it in advance it's got to be written down it's got to be ready to go pull it off the shelf open the book and start at page one and uh as illustrative material once again we turn to the pandemic now, um, both British Columbia and Newfoundland had provincial elections during the pandemic um, at about the same time. Uh, in BC, we were pretty okay because they planned in advance. They consulted uh, the medical people, they consulted with Bonnie Henry about the timing of the election. You know, can we have an election now? And, and then, you know, okay, what do we have to do? What are the special considerations for polling stations? What can we do and what can we not do in terms of campaign rallies and meetings and all candidates meetings and things like that? Um, making sure that you know, everybody had a fair chance to to get out and do their uh, campaigning, but safely, in uh, regard to you know the, the extraordinary conditions imposed by a pandemic. Um, there were uh, extensive provisions made for uh, mail-in ballots. Um, and, in, in fact, my wife and I uh, did take advantage of the, the mail-in ballots. Um, and, uh, you know, again, you have to think about it in advance. They, you know, provided information about where you could get mail-in ballots, what the deadlines were, um, how uh, the ballots were to be returned, and, you know, all of that. Um, in many cases, well, and my wife and I, uh, this is the first time that people uh, did mail-in ballots. And so there was a lot of material on, you know, what the instructions were, what the restrictions were, uh, so on and so forth. They, they planned it. They thought about it. They determined what the needs were going to be. Uh, they provided documentation about the procedures for the special cases. The um, Newfoundland unfortunately had a much, much harder time of it um, because they basically didn't. They just, they ran an election. They figured, okay, you know, this is a good time. Let's, let's do it. And, and they ran an election and 
they had a terrible, terrible time of it um, during the latter stages of the election. I think for uh, three weeks, they, they had steadily growing uh, COVID numbers um, and, you know, cancellations of all kinds of events and, and uh, you know, extensive problems uh, because they hadn't planned for the special contingencies, the special restrictions, the, the special cases that they might face in regard to holding an election during a pandemic. So you've, you know, you've got to plan it before you call the election, before the disaster happens, before, you know, you, you do it in advance. Um, and I'm sorry to, you know, beat this to death, but it's, you, you need to do it in advance. You know, there is, there is no point to think of, about, you know, doing business continuity planning. And, and, well, you know, we'll cover that when we come to it. No, you won't. You'll be too stressed out. Believe me. So...